Why dogs bite each other in the mouth during play. So, you see your best friend Max going for a walk to the dog park, where he meets a labradoodle and they start a game of peacefully wagging tails that quickly turns into mutual bite horror as they're aiming at each other in the neck. You grab Max and rush home. You didn't really have any reason to live in a hurry. Open mouth games are called mouth wrestling or jaw wrestling. This is a healthy way of canine interaction and they have inherited this habit from their wolf ancestors. As a puppy, a dog must learn important fighting skills and open mouth play is excellent as it imitates fighting. When the puppy grows up, he will be able to defend himself and learn to respect the boundaries of other dogs. Chasing, fighting, snarling, and biting his face are ways of socialization and entertainment in the dog world. Something akin to a rivalry between siblings and mock fights in the human world. You can understand that the dogs are playing. If they're attacking another dog, if he jumps happy or lies down on the ground while playing, it gives the companion advantage, and they can also switch roles. Some breeds of dog are more aggressive than others, plus the dog may be afraid to stand up for their territory, or they're overprotective of the owner. And such sparring can escalate into a fight when one of the dogs loses his spirit of play, bites too much, bites too hard, and holds his opponent for longer than two seconds. The dog may start whimpering. This can heighten the hunting instincts of the defending dog when the dog's body tenses up and stops jumping up and starts chasing or it shows its teeth and gums, then it's time to stop playing. If hair on the scruff of the neck stands up and you hear a deep growl and the situation becomes even worse. If your pet frequently oversteps his boundaries during sparring with his jaws, you can consult a dog handler. A good idea to stop it would be to teach your dog to be gentle with people during the same games. Allow her to play with your hands and weighs strings. When she plays with the dog for a few seconds, will flinch and feel that did something wrong. It's all right, it teaches a dog what's called breaking bite. You can also give him a toy or a chew bone as a substitute when he tries to bite you. And for kittens, when they're two years old, they practice wrestling with their jaws, and they often roll on top of each other and bite each other on the neck, giving in to their hunting instinct. In the wild, cats are impetuous and ruthless. And there's no hiding it behind all the purring of the world and also playing biting games with each other. This helps your kitten be gentler when she plays with you and other people, so it's all for the best. A lot of dogs sneeze while playing, and that's a sign that they're happy, that they're enjoying the process. When they're doing something fun, they often lift up their lips, and then their nose wrinkles up, and there's a short whimpering sound that comes from the nose and not their lungs, as the dog tilts their head toward you when they call their name or make unfamiliar sounds to hear better. They try to adjust their outer ears to see where the sound is coming from so they don't understand what you're saying. But they can pick up a familiar intonation and connect with it with the time to eat or walk or play. And they can also guess what you're saying by your facial expression. The tilt of your head helps them to take their muzzle out of sight. To get a better view of you, cats often push things off tables and bookshelves to demonstrate their hunting instinct. They are by nature hunters or explorers. For them, the only way they can test a new object is to touch it hit it, and push it with their paw. Things that roll after a fall put the cat in a playful mood. Once he notices that you never ignore the sound of falling, he may start dropping things intentionally just to get your attention. Also, cats like to sharpen their claws on furniture to leave a visible mark on their territory, and they also do it to refresh their claws and stretch their backs and shoulders. The couch seems like the perfect piece of furniture that isn't too low and fairly stable. You have to find a good replacement with the same qualities. The cat could sharpen the claws and let off steam. When the dog is very happy, it has a sudden burst of energy called zooming around the room at cosmic speed to get rid of energy accumulated in sleep for puppies. This zooming can be a way of releasing nervous energy, which is why they often zoom after bathing. Your cats like sleeping in the sink because of nostalgia and regulating body temperature in the first bend of the shell makes her a feeling of security and reminds her of the pleasant of the pressure she felt when she was part of the brood. Secondly, the ceramic is great for cooling her down after lying in a warm windowsill. Finally, the kitty might just try to spend more time with you, because he knows that you often find yourself at the sink. If your fish starts rubbing against the gravel, bumping against objects in the aquarium, and swimming fast without any purpose, he might be under a lot of stress. It could be due to poor water condition conflicts with other fish, an unbalanced diet fish needs a place to hide. They also don't like loud noises and banging coming from outside. Cats get scared at the sight of a cucumber because it looks too much like their old enemy, a snake that they are naturally programmed to jump up against to keep the snake from biting. 
Anything that looks similar to a snake, like a toy or an eggplant, causes a similar reaction. Never toss these objects for fun. It severely affects their mental health. Dogs never blink on purpose to make themselves seem nicer. They only do it when something is in their eye or when it's dry. It's also a way to relieve some of the tension and to avoid a fight, because direct eye contact in the dog world is challenging the dog to blink in front of you or other dogs when he's ready to back off in front of you. Blinking is a code to tell you that he's very comfortable with you. Slow blinking in cats is called cat kisses. You can try slowly closing and opening your eyes and see if your cat will do the same. The same thing cats really make fun of people, but they grimace as a reaction to an unseen massage of their skin. If they're able to pick up pheromones left in the air by other cats when they smell you, their lips curl into a grimace. Many dogs like to move the bowl or pieces of food from place to place before they eat. It's their way of trying to protect their most precious resource. They think that if they move the food around, no one can find it and take it away. They often touch or trample on the floor before they eat or right after they eat. It's an instinct passed down from generation to generation. Big cats do that in the wild. In the wild, they have to hide their leftover food so they don't get found by their enemies. If you don't like your cat hiding food, you can put the bowl away immediately after. It's boring or distracting, and toy hamsters like a drum because they're born runners. In the wild, they're capable of covering impressive distances overnight. Cage wheels are the key to their health and happiness and good physical shape if you can understand that a hamster is happy. It's happy if it's stretching and playing with bedding and toys. If he's constantly gnawing on the cage, trying to escape, he's not feeling good and comfortable. And maybe he needs to feel good. Maybe he needs more of a larger cage. If the cat is doing circles beneath your legs, it's not a devious plan to knock you down to the floor. He's just trying to leave its sense by marking you as its property. The cat also rubs her feet when she can't wait for food, by the way. Kittens can be sneaky. They know that such signs of attention grow up and give them everything they want. Domestic parrots have inherited from the wild ancestors habits of eating a tiny piece of food and dropping the rest. They've discovered that in the wild, they're more likely to drop unripe fruit during the breeding season. When they need to feed, they become more cautious. Dogs sometimes bark and move their paws when they sleep, because they're dreaming. If you look closely, you'll notice that their eyes are closed, but make quick sudden movements indicative of a deep sleep. By the way, my dog barks and sometimes whines in his sleep and moves his paws like crazy. He must be dreaming about something. What about your pets?